In 2003, a Brutus-type whale stranded in North Carolina entangled in fishing gear. Bill McClellan, who responded to the stranding, noticed that the animal appeared to be anomalous, possibly a new species, and alerted us at the Smithsonian. The specimen, a subadult male, was buried in sand at the beach and later recovered and added to the Smithsonian Marine Mammal Collection. The animal was believed to have come from a population living in the Gulf of Mexico off the Florida Panhandle. Since that stranding, I have been keeping an eye out for an adult specimen from the Gulf locality, which would be suitable for a potential holotype of the new species. A mature male from this population stranded in the Everglades in January 2019. A necropsy was conducted by Denise Boyd with assistance from the stranding team. A large shard of plastic was recovered, which had apparently ripped through the digestive system and may have been a significant factor in this whale's demise. After much pleading on my part, Noah decided to load the specimen on a flatbed truck and ship it to Fort DeSoto State Park to be buried in a sand spit. I was concerned about leaving it buried at Fort DeSoto the location was penetrated by the tides, which could damage the specimen and cause bone to shift around and get lost. So in May 2019, we assembled volunteers from Moat Marine Lab, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, NOAA, the Smithsonian and others to extract the specimen and take it to a safe location to finish cleaning using compost. This is some stop motion photography of the excavation. I'm the Captain Ahab figure in red on top of the whale. The hole quickly filled with a slimy ammonia soup. We attempted to pull the specimen out, but the head pulled off and was left in the soup, which was a problem to get it out of there. At the end of a tough day, the specimen was loaded into our Smithsonian pickup and a U-Haul trailer to transport to the Bonehenge Whale Center in Beaufort, North Carolina for composting. I was met at Bonehenge by a team of volunteers who immediately buried the specimen in compost. The compost pile at Bonehenge. The complete skeleton laid out after extraction from compost, it came out beautifully. We nicknamed it Gomez in honor of it being a Gomex whale, the common name we previously used to refer to this population. The specimen was loaded up and taken to the Smithsonian. The specimen was installed at the Smithsonian Whale Warehouse. In January 2020, a research team led by Patty Roselle of NOAA investigated the specimen at the Smithsonian Whale Warehouse. The paper describing it as the holotype of a new species, Balenoptera ricei, or rice's whale, was published in January 2021. The species was immediately listed as critically endangered. Known individuals only number in the 30s. Hazards in the Gulf are numerous, including pollution, vessel strike, and entanglement in fishing gear. This species is in dire straits. The left scapula and the first left rib show that they were cracked and rehealed, which may indicate previous vessel strike. Thank you.